Hello USW, it's exam season right now and obviously everybody is just so stressed. I tell you, I am also really, really stressed because I have to read so much for four exams coming up. The first thing I'm going to introduce is the concept of this. I wear this on my neck all the time. It's from Nepal. It says the words yin and yang. What is yin and yang? So it's the balance of elements throughout the world. I always think the whole world is just balanced through yin and yang and I think the reason you are stressed is because too much of something that you are doing. I am feeling stressed now because I've been studying so long today. I didn't give time for myself to relax. I didn't give time for myself to move around. I didn't give time for myself to eat proper meals and those make the yin and yang just imbalance. Once you make the yin and yang balance, as in you make sure you get good sleep all the time, you make sure you eat balanced and fulfilling meals, not that kind of meals which you still feel hungry after, and then you can't focus on studying, you can't study because you're tired, you can't study because you're hungry. One big thing for me is I really like to move. If I am sitting down for too long, I get really stressed out. So just make sure to give yourself that time to just move around, just get out of the library, get out of your seat, just get out there, you know, breathe some fresh air, just walk in the park, walk to Pontypridd, walk to Triforos, walk to Newport, you know, walk to Cardiff, walk around Cardiff, just do all of these kind of things, just get out of the house because the more you're inside the house, ironically because I'm inside the house right now because it's dark, just do it, just walk outside, breathe in all the fresh air and I tell you, your body will thank you. This has worked for me so many insane times, you wouldn't even believe it. Another thing is, what I realized from my own experience is, do not make a routine. Like, you just wake up in the morning, you eat breakfast, and then you go to the library, study until like 9pm, you go back and you sleep, you repeat for the next 7 days. Nuh uh. That's not the kind of thing you should do. Because if you do like that, you just feel like studying becomes a kind of burden and you do not want that because you come here to learn not to study studying and learning are two completely different things if you ever feel that your thing has become a routine and you feel that oh no i have to wake up again the next day and repeat the same thing that has become toxic seriously do not let yourself succumb to that kind of condition because that just increases your stress like hundredfold you do not want yourself to become some kind of mechanical robot that's not learning anymore and you've become just like a walking zombie do not ever do that that is stress to the max if you've ever feel like that make sure you do something different. I don't care what you're doing. That will make an insanely huge difference. My advice for you guys is one, make sure you get all the fundamental stuff of your daily requirements straight, which is sleep nicely, eat nicely, make sure you move around because if you sit there for so long, I tell you, you're just gonna feel horrible. Second one is just to make sure to get out of your room, just go outside, don't keep on staying inside because honestly, that is the best distressing element you can ever get. Just let your legs wander. I tell you, being inside will just mess with your mind constantly if you just sit inside for nine hours man you'll mess with your mind the other one is to make sure 
you just kill the daily routine. Do not ever do a daily routine. Your body will just feel like a robot. These are my tips for you. I don't know if it will work for you, but it would definitely work for me. Give time for yourself. This is really important. I repeat, give time for yourself. Do something new, do something different in between the studying because honestly, studying all the time, nuh-uh. Goodbye.